And now, Kodak presents the magical world of Disney. It's interesting how little affection we give our household appliances. That's right. Hello, I'm Michael Eisner. Tonight's anime series. You can learn something every day on KLRN. Funding for this program was provided in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the financial support of viewers like you. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the word, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. trampled and stampled in all those crowds. Besides winning all these prizes, I had a whole baked bean, three <laughs> entire french fries, and a bite and a half of apple pie. Pies? Oh my goodness, pies! I forgot all about the pies. Kids, come here, Mr. C. Okay, I've got to go home and start making the pies for the pie tasting contest. Now, you promised you'll help me run the station while I'm gone. Okay, Becky? You'll answer the phone and you'll say, Shining Time Station, may I help you please? Okay. And Carol, you'll help with any changes that might happen in the schedule. And Dan, you'll help the people with their luggage, all right? Thank you, everyone. Okay, bye-bye. No problem. Easy, nephew, easy. I'll be back here when the coast is clear. Presenting, just in time for the county fair, the... Pie-flinger! Ow! What does it do? It's fruit slice, dummy! Exact amount. It's in the way here, Schemer. And I'm sure some of you are asking, Schemer, and your very talented young nephew, Schemey... I'm going to split my dough! Get her, move this thing. ...are asking, Schemer, uh, how does this thing work? Well, I'm simply delighted to inform. A selfless volunteer, or some other sucker, <laughs> puts his face in here. Then the customer, standing here and forking over his mazumas, has the thrill of a lifetime when Mechanism flings the pie <laughs> into aforementioned mug. Oh, I get it. It's like a catapult. Only stupid. That's right. It's like a catapult. <laughs> Dearest Becky, isn't it time for your 20-mile hike? Schemer, you've got to move this thing. Gee, I'd, I'd love to, Bill, but i got a lot of things to do today. But I promise you that when I do, I will. Nephew Amsgrave, the rest of you, ta-ta. Oh, it's the 1055 from Pelican Falls, and we haven't done the arrival and departure schedules for the next train yet. Okay, wait, well, yeah. Oh, all right. Thanks. <laughs> Later, kids, I gotta get to Cloggyville. I don't mean tomorrow. Have a gherkin, Billy. You always travel with pickles, there, Min? Oh, yes, but don't tell everyone. People will think I'm odd. I usually take just two bananas, and there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Well, doesn't it make you want to explode You're with deliciousness? Very good. I made them myself. They're for the contest at the fair. But hmm. first, I have to go pick up my sister in Cloggyville. Oh, the 11 a.m. to Cloggyville. Perfect. I'll see you all at the fair. It's 11 a.m. to Cloggyville. Pitch, <clears throat> pitch. The 11 o'clock train doesn't stop in Cloggyville. 
Of course it does. It says right there, 11 a.m. to Cloggy Bill, right there on the schedule board. No, that's a mistake. Garabecki, that's the weekend schedule. The next train to Cloggy Bill doesn't, doesn't leave until two hours from now. It's not Billy's fault. I think she left us in charge. Well, you better put your ducks in a row. It's not Billy's fault. Yeah, it's not Billy's fault. Billy. Well, this time it is yeah, everyone's fault. Haven, Mr. Two Feathers. There's uh, all a confusion about today. Uh, Daisy's out baking pies and she left us to watch the station. <laughs> We've got a few problems, but not that we can't handle. Well, I'll put it on high and use the steam satin. Uh, you got them folks coming and going thick and fast today. Yeah, here you go. Ah, thank you. Yeah, well, Lulu, are uh, you ready for a rock? Didn't I have a chicken when I came in here? I saw Dan carrying a cage. What? Oh, Dan! Dan! Here, stop that train! Oh, Dan. how long does it take Dan. to make pies? Come back here! Dan! Dan! One more second, and that little baby would be in chubby corners. Oh, I'm sorry, Jenny. I thought it had to go on a freight car. Not my Lulu. Jenny, hmm? we are our two stranded travelers who deserve better. Where are you headed? Doodle Haven, Midge. Come on, Jenny. It's Felix Perez's bus. At least we know he's dependable. Come on, Lulu. We're going with Midge. Bye, Strap. Stacy makes it look so easy to run the station, but it's really hard. I hope she finishes those pies soon. Yeah. Yes, 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 I know. Once again, Schemer's genius is beyond the comprehension of mere children. Why is Schemer wearing a strawberry costume? Advertising. Advertising for our new strawberry whipped cream pie. I mean, after all, the people have to have something to fling. Now, the ingredients to this strawberry whipped cream pie are simple in their simplicity. Nothing but crust, fresh strawberries, because this is a quality enterprise, and whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. This was full about an hour ago. Are you testing it? Um, maybe I can. And you should need all the supply to the ingredients. Well, we shall return when Schemey takes this and go, 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 buy some more whipped cream. Until then, your favorite genius. Goodbye. Go, 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 go. Mr. Two Feathers, I have been receiving complaints of poor service this morning. Oh, well, we've had a, a few problems, Mr. King, but everything's under control. Well, I hope so. If the Indian Valley Railroad breaks down, then the fare breaks down. The railroad represents reliability, Mr. Two Feathers. <clears throat> well, goodbye. just my responsibility to, uh... All right. I'll tell you, but it's a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm looking for a little man. I only saw him once when I was a boy. I was sitting in a train station waiting for a train to take me home, but the train was late. And I started thinking that I, I'd never get home again. <laughs> 
man all alone? No. No, he was with his family. He was saying goodbye. That's when I saw him. And I know he was real. And uh, he whispered a poem in my ear. But I can only remember part of it. What did he say? Uh, he said, in the part I remember, he said, uh, all the sharing that makes life worth living and the pleasure you get because you're giving. And it's wonderful how all at once you're... And that's all I can remember. But when he said those words, I knew I'd get home safely, and I did. Did he tell you his name? Mr. Conductor. I guess it all sounds pretty strange, doesn't it? No, not at all. Not at all. No? It doesn't? Mm -mm. Carol, Becky, Dan, can I see you for a second? Okay, bye. Yes, uh, run along, kids. I've got work to do and so forth. wonderful how all at once you're where you wished for all along. Yes, that's it. This is where I belong. It's always been here. Thank you for helping me remember, Mr. Conductor. Wherever you are. system of success. You leave him, you lose him, we find him, we take him. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> 